This is going to be one of my plans going into 2021. I'm a safe, boring dividend investor, but I'm going to open a high risk, high speculative ISA in trading 212 and take a few more risks. Yeah, so 2021, um, I'm clearly getting a bit bored of being a, a boring, low risk investor, good quality blue chip dividend stocks or ETFs or CEFs that pay a good yield. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm still gonna be getting into these boring and safe companies that pay a dividend because I guess that's what I'm all about through and through. But I'm gonna be taking a few more risks in 2021. What I'm gonna do is open an account with Trading212, uh, which as you all know by now, I'm sure, uh, is not my favorite platform, but they are zero commission and they offer fractional shares, which I'm going to need. I'm gonna open my ISA in Trading212 and stop paying into another ISA, and then gonna fill that portfolio with spec plays, high speculative, potentially high growth, potentially fall off a cliff and lose all their value uh, stocks but we're gonna go into probably two or three stocks each month over the course of the year and see basically what that portfolio does. I'll provide an update each month or when I feel it's appropriate and see if we can beat the markets. I'm gonna get it opened today and I'm gonna get into my first four stocks. I'm gonna open it just with 100 pounds today. Or I've already opened it, but uh, I'll put orders in because it's Sunday, market's closed. I'll put orders in for those stocks today and then we'll look at it going forward and see how it's performing. The whole idea of this is just see if we can beat the market by quite a margin, hopefully. And if it plays out over the course of a year and it's looking pretty good, then I'll continue it. Each month I'll go into why I'm buying each stock. I will tag some YouTubers as well of videos I've been watching and ideas are beginning from them as well because it's not all gonna be my idea. These are high spec plays. I'm gonna be getting some ideas from other YouTubers. One of which already is Meet Kevin, huge, massive YouTuber, very wealthy guy, beats the market all the time. He's given me an idea on one of them and two of them certainly uh, I'm already in actually in my main portfolio but it's still I would consider spec plays. So I'm gonna be looking at those for the next year and see how, how they perform. My plan is to go and put probably uh, nearly a third, I'm gonna go 70, 30%. I'll quickly explain what I mean by that. So my salary is very much commission based. What I'll do at the beginning of each month is work out what I can afford to invest. I'll take that figure, let's say it's a thousand pounds. I'm then gonna go 30% into my high spec play and 70% into my boring long term dividend plays. So. 300 quid on a thousand pound to spend, I'm gonna be putting into some high spec plays, which I may break down to 150 pounds uh, a go, 100 pounds for three stocks. I don't know how I'll split it, I'll just see what is interesting at the time. I'm also going to be dollar cost averaging throughout the year. If I haven't got anything that I feel like I need to get into at any one point and I've got the money sitting there, the funds ready, I will buy up more of another stock I already own and dollar cost average throughout the year as well. And it'll be interesting to see what spec plays and high growth stocks combined with dollar cost averaging kind of does throughout the year. And, and certainly a year, and I said possibly longer, um, and I'll share the whole thing with you guys on a monthly basis just to let you know how things are going. Uh, I'm still going to share with you the 10 EV stocks that I bought into uh, a few weeks ago now and let you know what's happening with those. And I'll continue to share the main portfolio, my 50,000 pound portfolio and what I'm buying into on a monthly basis. Hopefully I can get to the point where I can get at least, you know, a thousand pounds into that portfolio on a monthly basis and grow that, keep growing that and grow the dividends and, and the passive income coming in. But this is just gonna be a bit of an interesting, I'm gonna take this year just to do some spec plays, high risk, uh, let's just throw some money into it and see what happens. I'll do as much homework as I possibly can on each stock and a company and look at whether I think it's gonna grow because that's the whole idea here to try and beat the market essentially. The first two stocks that I'm gonna go into, uh, I'll put orders on my phone, I use my phone for filming, so I'll put the orders on my phone after this and then just pop it up on the screen here, the orders. So the first one I'm gonna buy into, four stocks I'm gonna to buy today. The first two need no introduction and therefore I'm not going to introduce them as in depth as the other two. So I'm gonna be going into Tesla, good old Tesla, 
I'm in Tesla in my main account anyway. Uh, it's one of my best performing stocks. They're still gonna be in it for the long run. They're, they're, they're slowly becoming more of a safer play, I guess, rather than a spec play. The inclusion into the S&P 500, has been massive for them and they're becoming just a, quite a, almost a bit of a solid blue chip there's, there's still some volatility with them and i still think there's a lot of room for growth so that's why i'm getting into tesla so tesla's going to be the first one so i'll pop up i don't know you can probably see it now it'll be on there me putting an order in for tesla i don't know how much i'll be buying but you'll be able to see it on screen there i'll be buying that much of tesla 25 pounds worth because i'm going to go four stocks, 100 pounds split four ways. The next stock is going to be another one that I'm uh, involved in in the main uh, portfolio, but it formed part of my EV stock buying spree, and that is NEO. So I'm sure you'll all know NEO. It's probably the second most popular, certainly if you watch YouTube videos, which you do, because you are, on EV stocks and investing, you would have seen NEO all over the place. So again, I'm not gonna go into it in greater detail, but Neo is going to be my second purchase. So again, I'll pop the thing there, 25 pounds into Neo. So that's number two. All right, so just a quick interruption, a little update on Neo on trading two on two. They should never have been in the ISA account because they're not compliant uh, for one reason or another. So anyone who's got an ISA account with trading two on two and has bought Neo, it would have disappeared. Whether you would have got an email from trading two on two or not, don't know but they didn't pass certain checks that the HMRC have put into place they have to pass and so they've been taken off the ISA account so I won't be buying that today I will keep 25 pounds in the account and we'll look to buy something else another day the next two are going to be EV stock influenced and based but they don't produce cars so one of them is going to be for uh, sensing and sort of vision for ev stocks and that is microvision so i'll pop the thing up just a, a quick screenshot on, on screen here so although tesla aren't wanting to be using the sort of the technology that they're producing or certainly the main technology that is driving them forward and i'll quickly pop up on screen what their stock price has done this year so far as well it's just gone absolutely mad but there's going to be so much more room for growth growth because all other EV stocks and there's so many of them more so many more of them out there now even if Elon Musk doesn't want to use their technology or is, isn't a fan of their technology that's not to say he will won't become a fan of his technology or of their technology in the future but certainly all the other EV companies out there which are there are so many of them now will be using that form of technology including Neo so that is one of the stocks i'm going to be getting into it's at around six dollars at the moment or six and a half dollars at the moment so there's lots and lots of room for growth although it's grown massively this year so far and it's an accessory to the ev the, the electric vehicles and the ev space is just going to be huge going forward so that's why i'm investing in these guys and the oh i'll pop up on screen me me buying them now loads of overlays today the next stock is another EV related company that don't produce electric vehicles themselves, but they produce the power, the battery cells, and they're going into sustainable hydrogen cell fuel for the EV space. So again, absolutely essential in the growth and expansion and the future of electric vehicles are companies that run alongside the likes of Neo and Tesla. And it could be that in the future, Nikola, Neo, Li Auto, Tesla, workhorse whatever it might be may produce their own form of cellular power hydrogen cellular power lidar vision and sensory equipment potentially in which case the likes of microvision uh, won't be needed or they'll be bought out but certainly for the short term maybe in the next year or so that i'll be running this account for um, these guys are going to be needed big time or could be bought out in that, in that time but certainly there's so much growth still and they're growing massively this year but there's so much growth still for the ev space so the first four stocks are ev related i will see if i can expand into other areas undoubtedly in this portfolio most of my buys are going to be probably ev related tech related or potentially some new communication services maybe the likes of the new netflix or something that may go a bit crazy and rocket 
I'll probably get one or two very well known tech companies, potentially like Apple in there as well, just to fill it out a bit because again, this, there's probably still much growth left in Apple to, to be honest. They're bringing out an electric vehicle, which has not been confirmed by Apple yet, I don't think, but they're bringing out an electric vehicle in 2024. So next few years could be big for Apple as well. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do with this new portfolio. It's gonna be high risk, it's gonna be speculative. You shouldn't be copying any of these plays. I'm doing research on, on YouTube to get us some ideas and then looking into the companies and working out whether I wanna be getting into them and whether they've got a future and you should do your own homework as well, not just rely on copying my portfolio. I'm not a professional investor. I do this merely for fun actually more than anything so that's it so uh, follow the journey with me uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next few videos which will be updates on this portfolio the ev stocks that are buying the main portfolio the fifty thousand uh, pound stocks and shares portfolio or dividend portfolio and other videos dotted in there for good measure so subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything going forward if you've enjoyed this video i'm sure you have then press the like button as well because it really does help out the channel and will help us grow so that's it for this one just wanted to get in quickly before the year's out and throw something out there just explaining what i might be doing next year and i'll still be getting out my end of year video on my portfolio kind of as a whole and the dividends that i've received so i'll catch you guys in the next video see you later